Thank you so much, Zoe. What a great little workout to kickstart your Monday morning and the first day of this week as well. Now, Heritage Day is just around the corner. Now, this week we are celebrating Heritage Day by covering the cultural wealth of our nation with prize on the West Coast to Karoo inspired menus right through to a true Shishanyama experience in Soweto. Now, today's Bri recipe takes us up the West Coast for a seafood feast with our very own self proclaimed Bri Expresso Bri Master Graham. This Bry story is brought to you by Robertson's The Spice People. Yeah. And there he is. How are you, buddy? How are you doing, dude? Good, Good to see you. I thought, seeing as we're putting a snook on the bra, I better bring Durban Would massive you? with okay. me. This is right. <laughs> it's awesome to have you here. When you said a house on the beach, uh, I didn't think you meant like actually in the woods. This is amazing, dude. Ah, it's the only way to do it on the West Coast. West Coast living, eh? Should we get stuck in, dude? I can see the wood. I'm ready to bry. Yeah, man. But before we get tucked in, we're going to go get our food from the ocean. You mean like from the kitchen? The no. Ocean? The ocean. <laughs> From there, are you yeah. up for that? Brace yourself. <laughs> yeah. So when you get offered a masterclass in brying snook and mussels on the braai on the beach, oh man, that is an opportunity I'm not gonna pass up. First on the to-do list is retrieving mussels for the braai, and as John is a sassy ambassador, we're following strict guidelines. Being a sassy ambassador, I've got licenses for you guys. Thank you. So kindly. we won't get knocked uh, up for this. <laughs> um, yeah. it, uh, Absolutely vital. You want to protect a coastline. Yeah. That is yeah. just beautiful. Always, I yeah. love that. Have we got enough to go on, you think? Yeah, we've we got enough. Let's bry, boys. Let's <laughs> bry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, I like the spread you have for us. The snook we know about, the mussels we know all about. Well done, Big dude. Delve <laughs> <top. laughs> a little deeper. What are you going to be whipping up on the bright for us? Well, guys, you're on the West Coast today, so we're going to do a lacquer bright snook and my quick mussel poiki. A lot of people kill it with too much sweetness. My favorite and best way to do it is to use the Robertson's Master Blend, the traditional bry mix. Mm. To rub it down with that and then pack it with lemon and just boost the flavor. Bri, you want to keep the, the flavor contrast there as well. And I love the fact that we've got the zestiness of the lemon and you've got a nice traditional South African brine mix that's going to be robust. It's going to bring that nice smoky flavor from the spice people. Absolutely love it. So for the basting, you're going to use the butter and some garlic. You're oh, going to do man. that for us. Right. It's already measured off. Yeah. Let's add the butter. And that's straight on the bri. Hey? Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, straight. Next stage of the basting is you're going to assess the whole lemon up there for me and I'll get chopping on the coriander there. Hey, yeah, Graham, you can just put it in there. Brian, can you add us some uh, zest that you made there? All I'm going to do now is add some Robertson's crushed chili, just for some lacquer kick. Yeah, just soup it up a touch. OK, Graham, down with the chilies. Can you add us some salt and pepper there? Yeah. There we go. So the snook's going to yes. take about 20 minutes. Mussels are very quick. So let's take that to the fire and we'll make it there. Make sure the fish and bry grid are brushed with olive oil to make sure they don't stick together. And baste the fish with the seasoned butter while cooking. And dun dun dun, look oh, at that. Oh yes, that's oh, good. Oh my word! I'm so hungry <laughs> now. That looks amazing, man. Just to finish that off, just add some little spice to it. All right, we're going to go with our traditional bry mix, eh? That's the one. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Brian, this is going to be a nice, quick, and easy one. You're right. just going to add wine and, and some cream. All right. Well, I'm going to just melt down the butter with some two leeks that are chopped up and garlic. Oh, my word. Oh, yes, yeah, looking, looking good. good. Hey, they're opening up beautifully, yes. man. Guys, we just need to add the last. Leaks here. Oh, we just need uh, to spice it up now. We need the Robertson's Master Blend, the zesty lemon and herb. Eh? You know, John, I have a feeling that you might be giving away some of your insider secrets here. Hey, man, <laughs> being a seaman, uh, it's my favorite dish, and working with the uh, Robertson's Master Blend, the zesty lemon and herb, is my favorite combination to use. The secrets in the seasoning and uh, managing the fire. But luckily, with my Master Blend, my job's done here. Let's have a look at the pot. Ooh. Yeah, look at these mussels. Oh, yes. they've opened up beautifully. Oh, yes. oh that's done, boys. Oh, let's go. Eh? Using Robertson's Master Blends means you get balanced flavor in one mix, and they can be replaced with an economical refill. That is as delicious as it looks. That is insane. Gentlemen, thank you so much for the most epic bry ever. 
Cheers, John, boys. you are a master Cheers. Cheers. indeed. Thank you very much, Cheers, Cheers, boys. Take the guesswork out of flavor combinations and simply enjoy how seasoning adds depth to your dishes. As long as you can build the fire, a great braai is easy with Robertson's Master Blends. Nothing brings people together like a perfectly blended braai and Robertson's Master Blends. Oh, that truly looks magical. Now, I've experienced a proper West Coast braai of myself, and it's, you know what, it's definitely something to write home about. But if you want to get your hands on some braai essentials for this braai day, then all you have to do is visit our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3, and share your ultimate braai tips with the hashtag MasterYourBlend. Now, you can earn yourself a Robertson's Master Blend hamper that includes everything you need from a wooden braai caddy with six Robertson's Master Blend spices, an apron, a cap, braai tongs, and basting brushes to match, of course. Of course, it's a great, great little hamper. Now, it could all be yours this Friday, and winners will be announced on Friday, the 23rd of September, and T's and C's can be found on our website, expressoshow.com. Make sure you don't miss out.